Welcome to JustEYG.com. This is Z6Akeen bringing you part five of the campaign walkthrough. This is going to be after you do all the t walking around in town. Uh, this first guy is going to creep up on him and knock him out the same as usual. Um, after you get done at the police station, the medical lab, all that stuff, you're going to get over to this section right here where you're coming through the streets. Um, so you're not going to the first guy. You're going to crouch and walk underneath this uh, decking here. Um, you're going to want to stop and listen to what they have to say. Um, not that it's important to the campaign, but they'll actually separate and allow you to walk around this. Um, try it a couple different ways. So you could maybe say it to the far right and get while they're still talking. Um, I found it was just better just to sit and wait it out. Uh, because of the way they separate, you can't take both of them out. So I just bypass them all together. I do believe this part was intended to be stealth through, not, you know, right up in, uh, you know, these guys as a grill. I mean, there's a couple of stragglers out, but the way they have them set up, unless you're going with the brutal aspect of killing everybody with guns uh, to stealth this not really feasible so come out the, the garage door here we're gonna stay behind the cement barriers now, like I said all my videos are gonna be stealth uh, all cutscenes have been cut out this is made to be a walkthrough um, so we're gonna show you how to stealth through all this uh, most of the achievements are going to be based off stealth, like Ghost, uh, the Operator, um, or Smooth Operator, and stuff like that. So, so we're going to say here we got to listen to these guys' conversation. Alright, once these two separate, give them just a little bit of leeway, and you'll be able to walk straight across. Now, one guy over there on the right is going to spot you as you make the jump, but he's just going to see a movement. He's not actually going to be mad. He's just going to turn yellow, so you're all right there. Alright. Shut that door. That is kind of important. Um, if you don't shut the door, they, they can see you while you're waiting on this wall. And I actually died probably four or five times figuring out how that guy saw me on the corner. Um, it was actually the guy shooting through the open door. So make sure that door is shut. So we got two guys down here on the couch. We're going to sneak up and grab up the protein pack. Or, or and up the ladder we go. Alright. This is the part where it's going to be the trickiest to get through here. Um, you're going to go up here. You're going to see some green cans. Um, you want to pick up one of these cans. Um... Set it down in the door frame here. And we'll just kind of like push it through the opening or find a way to get it through this opening. Alright, go ahead and pick it up. You're going to stay behind the cement barriers and you're going to toss it and set off the mines. You're going to pick it up again. There will be two more right in front of you. See them flashing on the wall. Now, this is going to alert everybody to the fact that you're here. These two guys right here are probably going to be the toughest to take out. Um, done this two or three, four times, and this seems to be the best way I see to do it. So, we're going to wait for these guys to go back down. you got to be ready to move. 
As soon as that second guy heads down the staircase, you want to move to where he's basically standing at. Alright. So the first guy is going to be down in position already, looking directly at you. As soon as that guy goes out that door frame, you need to be down here. You go to the door frame, you take out this guy. Because where you have to move him to in order for, the, for you not to get detected and have to get into a gunfight takes a minute. So he's down. We're going to pull him all the way back and try to get him around this corner without losing your grip. And pull him all the way up next to the skid. See how I have him laid out there? All right. Now that's done. We're going to sit on this wall and wait for his buddy to come back. Believe it or not, it does take a little bit of time to get in there. I know I said you kind of got to be in a hurry. Um, I've done it slower and been caught by a guy while I'm dragging him and it turns into a mess. So as soon as he walks past you, you can go ahead and catch him on the staircase here and do some mean and nasty things to him. Break a couple ribs, his face, his jaw. It's all good. All right. So now that's done, um, it's pretty much easy from here on out. We're going to head out this door. Stay along the left wall. Come up here. Now I have my hacking all the way up, guys. Uh, I put all three in, three points into the one hacking tree to the farthest right. I forget which one it is. Uh, but you should be able to hack this regardless. It's still just a tier one. Uh, because this is only a level one node, so you get your access there, put it to inactive, and that's going to basically wrap it up for the commentary side of this. Um, I'll be working on part six here very quickly, um, so keep checking back at justeyg.com as I release these videos pretty much as fast as I can put them out and figure them out. Uh, remember again, I am doing this on the hardest difficulty, and it's about a two and a half hour upload. Um, I appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more. Let's go. Great. Detroit Local. This is Sarah Industries Bravo Echo Echo 008. Continuing on.